welcome brother Joshua Igenla as he takes on his remarks. You're welcome, sir. Emmanuel. Thank you, Mama Evelyn. And thank you, all the squad members. Happy birthday, Prophet Thibi Joshua. Prophet is a gift to mankind, to humanity. I'm glad that my generation felt the impact of this legend of faith. He's a pathfinder. I call him the firstborn in the prophetic. Who took the bullet? Who took the bullet for so many of us and broke the ground? The persecution, the trials, the focus, the depth, the maturity in which he comport himself in his lifetime is what to emulate. We are not talking about a man who preaches, but we are talking about a man who lived with the full fruit of the Spirit, seeing. A man hated, but yet gave people love. Persecuted, but yet in the midst of persecution was patient. I'm glad that my generation have seen such a legend of faith. Our Yubama Peru and Nibe ni akondayo. I want to quickly add that the prophetic ministry is so strong that if you're a carnal man, you can't understand the prophet. Prophets are men of mysteries. And that's why when we look at the life of prophet, uh, many people might not be able to understand him except the Lord reveal him to you. I want to quickly add before I round up by saying in Acts chapter 10, 13 downward, a man called Peter had a vision and saw a vessel came down from heaven three times, full of beasts and wild animals. And then he said, when God said, rise up, kill and eat, he said to God, how can I eat something that is unclean and common? But these vessels and wild animals, he claimed, came from heaven. Prophet is a gift from heaven that descended from heaven. But men like Peter who don't have the design, men of the spirit might not be able to understand. Never you call what God has sanctified, cleans unclean. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Please put your hands together for him.